Hey guys, Rajrappers here, and today I'm going to show you how you can get to the terminal and run commands on an Ubuntu system that will not boot to the desktop. So I'm just going to be doing this inside of a virtual machine, so I'm going to be using Hyper-V to run this Ubuntu 22.04 LTS version, but the process should be the same on a system that has Ubuntu directly installed to it. Now at the minute if I open my VM up and I try to start it, if this tries to start up, as you can see, it will end up failing. So there you go, it's failed to get to the desktop. And now we need to be able to get to the terminal to run commands and figure out why. So I will just shut down the system. So if this was your physical machine, you would just power it off. And then what you need to do is you need to have a keyboard attached to the machine. And you then want to hold down the shift key on the keyboard and then start the machine up. And then once you've done that, that should get you to the Grub bootloader menu. And from here, you can then use the arrow keys to go down to advanced options for Ubuntu. And then you will probably only have two options, as you will probably only have one kernel installed. However, I have multiple on this machine. But all you want to do is you want to come down to the recovery mode option. So I'm going to select the 5.15.0-103 generic. But for you, whatever kernel version you have, you want to go to the recovery option for that. So if we now press enter on that, and then we'll give it just a second to load the recovery menu. And now we've given it a second, we can then use our arrow keys to come down to the root option down here that says root drop to root shell prompt. So if we press enter on that, then just below the purple box, as you can see, we now have this text down here that says press enter for maintenance. I'll press control D to continue. So we're going to press enter for maintenance. And now we have a root terminal that is inside of the root user's home directory. So as you can see by the little tilde before the hashtag. So at the minute, if we run a command such as ls, as you can see, it would find no files as I don't have any files in the root user's directory. But if you want to get back to the root file system, all you have to do is type cd space dot dot. And that will go back to the root file system. And now if we do ls, as you can see, those are all the files in the root folder directory. Now, for example, if you want to install something, you're going to have to initialize your ethernet connection. So at the minute, if I do ip space a and then press enter, as you can see, my adapter ETH0 is down at the minute, so I do not have any internet connection at all within this VM. So if we want to install something from the internet with it, we're going to first need to set that up. So to do that, I'm just going to type IP link set space ETH0 up. And now we've changed its state to up. We now just need to tell it to get an IP. So we're going to do DH client space ETH0 and then press enter. And I've put a typo there. And there we go, the Ethernet adapter should now have an address. And the final thing I need to do is I need to set up some DNS servers for it, as it's not going to be able to resolve any domain names. So if I just do nano space forward slash etc forward slash resolve dot conf and then press enter and then type name server space dot eight dot eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. And then we will do a second one just for backup. So name server space 1.1.1.1. So that is Google's DNS 8888 and Cloudflare's on 1111. So if we do control X to exit and we say yes to saving it and press enter. Now, if I just do apt get update and press enter, as you can see, it's now able to update the repository. So there you go, that's just an example of how you can run some commands and how you can access the root file system. So hopefully with that you can figure out what's wrong with your Ubuntu image and you can fix it. So guys, hopefully that helped you. If you liked the video, don't forget the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you another time. Bye.